sometimes VCL controls simply don't behave the way we expect them to. Here's an example for the T-Advanced Memo Control, a wonderful memo component which has line numbering, which has styling for different um, language syntaxes, it has like collapsing and expanding of groups, it has bookmarks, all the fancy stuff that you need when working with memos, um, when not wanting to do a lot of work yourself. TMS software has you covered. In, in this case here in my application, I uh, select the weather report from a advanced string grid and of obviously my grid isn't having that much information in it but uh, the detailed information is supposed to be shown here on the right side and I set my memo control to do word wrapping. Obviously here this is cut off and where we check the settings on uh, the advanced memo control here we go. Here it should be something about word rep. It is right here, the last property, of course, and I keep looking for it. Um, later Delphi versions, of course, have the search here, but um, I'm still used to the old Delphi versions and always forget about the possibility to search for properties. So if you want to be quick, simply type word rep here, and you're there right away. However, the word rep property obviously has different values. One is WW none, which obviously would mean I'm not going to do any word wrapping. The client width um, determines that the wrap occurs um, where your component ends. And write margin, that's something special. You can also define a write margin for the control, which is zero here. If I define like my mar write margin as 30, let's see what inclination that has. What happens is that I do have a write margin, but uh, still word rep doesn't occur even if I switch. And here's the kicker. As soon as you resize the control, it works as expected. So it doesn't even matter if you resize vertically or if you resize horizontally. There is no difference, but word rip doesn't occur right away. So what's the solution to this? Well, sometimes TMS controls require to tell them, hey, I'm updating something. And that's, that's pretty obvious because how is TMS supposed to determine if you make changes to a T-strings or T-string list, right? They could hook into this T-string list of their memo component, but that would be not a good solution in my opinion. It's better how they did it. So what we need to do is where we assign the content to our memo, we have to wrap it in begin update and end update. So what we can do here is, let's say you do the the lines clear and the lines add with the content that's supposed to be displayed in our memo. However, this is also a little bit tricky. So if you type, this is my memo, the txt forecast, lines, begin update, end update. That means the tstringless itself also has begin update, end update. That is not going to change anything because this is just referring to the string list. We want to make sure that the memo component realizes, hey, an update starts now, and now the update is over, and you can repaint your content according to the settings that I made, okay? So actually, the advanced memo control has begin update and end update methods, and those methods are the ones we need to call. So after making these changes, we get the desired result. Red wrapping occurs right away when selecting a different um, row in my grid and uh, it's being updated um, when I resize everything. Of course this also works with uh, with the client width and setting the margin back to zero. This is basically the same approach for both word wraps. You need to call begin update and end update of the advanced memo control not of the stringless control. By the way I how I did this form is pretty simple. This is a T-panel component. 
and this grid is aligned as AL client, this advanced memo is aligned as AL write, and of course here is an advanced splitter component. You can set that one either to AL left or AL right, doesn't really matter. Here you see, then you have the ability to um, resize the horizontal alignment, and here this one is a T advanced GDI chart, which um, is set to AL client, and the panel is set to AL top. So this is how you get the desired effect that you can align all the different areas of the form as you see it right here. So, so much for a quick hint how to word wrap properly with a T advanced memo control.